One of the most useful ways to handle vectors is to break them into components. Now to do this we need Cartesian axes. You can draw these in various ways. Uh, I generally like to have x to the right, y upwards, and z out of the page. But you may prefer something different. This is easy because if you don't have z it gives you x and y like a normal two-dimensional graph. There are various ways of showing vectors. One form of terminology is brackets. So you might list the x component, the y component and the z component of a vector separately inside a bracket. Another way to do it is to use unit vectors. So remember a unit vector is a vector of length 1 in the particular direction, so that's a unit vector along the x-axis, it's a unit vector along the y-axis, and a unit vector along the z-axis. So you could write this as vx times the unit vector in the x-direction, plus vy times the unit vector in the y-direction, plus vz times the unit vector in the z-direction. There are just different ways of writing it down. This way you have a bracket with three things separated by commas. Here you don't have any commas or brackets, but you have the three unit vectors to tell you which one is which. In this course, we will normally use this terminology. Now how do you break a vector down into its components? Well, let's say we had a vector like this. I'll call it V. And we want to know what the x and y coordinates are. So the x component will be that length, and the y component will be this length. Now if we know the angle here, we can use trigonometry. Now if you remember, cos theta equals, op equals adjacent over hypotenuse, in this case the adjacent is Vx, and the hypotenuse is the length of V. So Vx equals the length of the whole vector times cos theta. Similarly, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse opposite of the triangle is this length here, which is the same as that length there, so that's Vy over the length of the whole vector. So we have that Vy equals the length of the whole vector sine theta. I wouldn't memorize these things, it depends whether you have theta up here or up there, and if you're Thing was slanting off in this direction or up like there, it will break up other ways. But use the method is important. Use the definition of sine and cos to work out the different components.